Hello guys, welcome back to Blizzito Kids. My name's Blitz and today there was a new update in Rares Online. There's a couple new engines. Um there's a couple new engines, so the ten mile right here. Um it looks really weird. Um Um This thing and this so the big thing is that um coal so this is the coal version of the cookie i have the wood version so i'm gonna i want to get this today um, and then they added one more this thing is from north carolina not actually colorado um this thing is big. This is my favorite livery. I've actually got to see, I got to see, I got, no, not seen. Um, I got to see um, one of its smaller siblings, number 12 at the, at a theme park, but um, anyways, we're going to the iron mine from my smelter now this is a special line because it is a special purpose it's the only thing it's purposely allowed to do so let's go travel okay so as the engine's going to chuff up this tiny bit of hill you can tell it starts sloping up the engine's at the top of the hill now So now that so there is a very steep hill on the way to the iron mine. And it, it after after the main hill that I'm on, after the this part we switch back onto the main line that does take us up, so it isn't two different lines. Um this just follows the canyon down and around the grade is a I think this is flat um, we will be coming up on some grades here soon that might affect the hillage that's not even word um might affect us so we go under another bridge this is my our coal mine line I actually haven't done roads online on the channel for a while so now a lot of now all the engines the new engines are cook um no not cook um coal fired so I'm gonna have to buy a new engine for like just for reasons there's four of them I don't have the money to buy all of them like I personally want to see like the the coal the coal version of the engine right here but um so. This is just a regular 4% grade. So the main line is that big bridge over there. Um, we gotta elevate, we gotta go all the way up to it. So you're about to see the little engine that can. Well, let's just hope it can, because this there's a six and a half to 8% hill, which is like one of like the steepest hills in the game. And then there's a, there's a, corner that kills all your speed before you start on the hill come on my engine we can do it yep it's this one and when you're at full throttle you're gonna start climbing the hill we'll start look at how like slanted it is over there that's ridiculous um so as we start climbing the ridiculous hill up to this monstrosity there is another really tight corner I hope this thing can make it through because I really don't want to crash. Um, let's not go full speed into this. The little engine that could. So we're on a six and a half. I don't know what was going to happen when we reach a full 8% grade. We're on the 8% after this bridge. We're on the full 8%. Do I need to get another engine? The cookie? 
Oh, is she gonna, this is the steepest part of the thing. Come on, Cook Mogul, you can do it. Oh, she's almost there, she's almost at the switch. Come on. Come on, you're so close. You just need a few more things and you'll be at the top. There we go. Then the line goes up this. I've, we've already done this, so I'll just skip it until we get to the iron mine. See you guys at the iron mine. Keep her coming back. Yeah, keep her coming back. Oh, hello, guys. So, we're back. Um, I have all these hoppers full. Um, so, we're about to go down the... We're about to go down the big hill again. We're gonna apply some brakes because right as we get onto it, there's an 8% grade. So it's steep. Let it roll. As soon as it gets on the grade, we're gonna start picking up speed. And I was right. Get some brakes going. Please don't tell me we're gonna wreck. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Going too fast. Set the brakes. Holy cow. Start heading, not heading, setting some brakes. Get three of the car's brakes tied down. Apparently, three is a little too much. Oh no. I think after this will be good. I promise you guys. We'll have the money and we'll buy. Oh. Oh. This may be bad. The locomotive's wheels are locked. Um. <laughs> oh, set brakes. So, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna let from here. We'll let this half of the train. So just take off brakes on these cars. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take off the brakes on these cars. And then we're gonna disconnect the last three cars. No, let's not do that. Let's just keep it as one train. Because then we don't have to go back into the yard and sort it. Um, just let it roll backwards like this. Oh, we're starting to pick up speed. You're starting to pick up speed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to go too fast. <sighs> We're almost back at the smelter. Oh, 
please don't, please don't wreck. <sighs> See you guys at the smelter. Actually, no. Um, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the back of the train over here. We're going down the hill towards the smelter. So we go along this, we just stay in this one big valley to get to the iron ore mine. And it's sad because I don't have any like turning facilities or like turnarounds so then I can't like turn around the engines that's frustrating especially when you're running this this particular run because I might add like a like a thing to where the engines can go like back and forth like so then we don't have that much of an issue but for now we do so we're rolling into the we're rolling in there. We're just gonna roll over there, I guess you would say. So I bought a Glenbrook um, a little while ago. I haven't, I haven't showed it on camera yet. So is, so are my other two locomotives. But for some reason, it's not a thing anymore. So frustrating. Okay, as we back up, we're gonna, yep. I'm gonna have to stand over here. And I have to stand over here because there's a switch up here that I'm gonna have to switch. So there's like a down, like a little bit of a down slope here that helps the cars get up to speed. Sometimes I do gravity trains, so like, it's only the cars. They just roll down the hill. So this just helps them go down, instead of being on flat ground. Um, so they're gonna pick up some speed. How much does this whole train actually weigh? So 22,000 pounds, 22,000, 22,046 pounds or 10,000 kilograms. No, 